low low 4k in uh 5k team yeah but i mean they have a 6k player as well so it's it's the average mmr it's uh roughly 5k uh, i don't know the exact average mmr uh fans events because like as i said some of them do not have it displayed but uh it's pretty much 1k versus 5k with uh some people sticking out we have uh Everyone remembering their heroes here as well from the Team 5k who randomed all the way. And Lich is going to be the last one. Seems like farming like Peasant has to uh, play Lich this time. Alright. Is this party or solo MMR? This is based on their uh, solo MMR. This is on their solo anymore. Carry Lich incoming. Could be. Who knows? They need to have a core out of Wisp, Crystal Maiden, and Lich. One of them is a core. So I would say probably the Lich is going to be farming up somewhere. And Crystal Maiden and Wisp are going to be supporting. We'll see what they decide to do, though. Because Lich is honestly a very strong lane dominator. If he plays one versus one on a lane, he can crush a lane. But, um, I don't know. You could also do a Wisp solo mid, I guess. <laughs> Some crazy stuff. Is he actually DC'd again? Already, yep, to DC. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, he might be coming back. We'll see. Why aren't they doing anything? They're just standing around. The score is 1-0 right now. And uh, this is going to be the... This is the second game, and we're pretty mindset that it's going to be the deciding game. Because the players are uh, looking to go to sleep after this. Some of them saying it's uh, getting late. But, I mean, if Team 1K wins, then I'm positive we can force a full best of three out of this. Thank you for your key post chat. Good luck, have fun to both teams. Again, we're going to see contest on the top rune here. Team 1K is on the Dire side. Team 5K is on the oh, Radiant side. Oh, it's about to start, Morty. Mm -mm -mm. Five heroes from uh, Team Dire here. Definitely gonna win the top rune. Uh, Bottom rune without contest for uh, Brewmaster. Blocking the uh, ancient stack. Oh yeah. They did. No ancients for uh, for radiant. I'm not even sure if they could farm ancients though. They have like no yeah, good hero. Yeah, definitely not in the first six minutes of the game anyway. Yeah. So it's not really worth blocking this off. It's a it's a nice. Nice intention, but it's going to be a 6k MMR solo mid wisp. There we go, guys. And uh, he's going up against Summers on this Windrunner. Going for the Mango Strat. I know he's going to be Twitch chat's favorite now. They love Mangos. Top lane, Viper gets caught out a little bit here. Both stuns committed, but stun is cooling down. Lion has his now. He might go down here. He's definitely dead. Yep. Oh, man, Mango's first blood once again to the 1k's. <laughs> and it's the same guy as well dying. So, Baxmeister, twice in a row, you have been first blooded by a team of 5k or one team of 1k MMR. Sven? Uh, he's gotta sleep good tonight. Oh, the salve. What Just a... barely making it out. Yeah, that's a clutch salve there. Lion sacrificing himself for the safety of his carry. Yep. That's glorious. Meanwhile, in bottom lane, a lot of aggression, but can't really catch the Wraith King here. I'm gonna skip there. Runs away to safety. Mid lane, so far, Windrunner has yet to make a single CS happen on this lane as Wisp's controlling very nicely. Balls all over the place. Tries to go for power shot, but not connecting. So bottom lane's the, uh, the Coddle and Wraith King trying to play against the Brewmaster and CM. CM's starting to jungle up a little bit. She's... Uh, 
She's got one stack, but she's gonna kill off the centaur as well. I think she could have pulled that and then frostbitten, and it would be stacked again. Don't want to frostbite before pulling. And Brewmaster is really pulling ahead in the uh, CS down here. He's 10 CS already, and that's with Crystal Maiden going into jungle. So he's finding tons of farm. Compared up to Wraith King's 4 CS, definitely out of this lane. Yeah. And sitting there with solo XP, it's going to be hard to contest him if they let him keep farming like this. If he gets to level 6, I mean, that's very scary, right? Because you can't bring him down at all. They're trying to go <laughs> on him now, as early as possible, and he's just fighting it. He's turning around, but there's a double stun. Stun so... comes through. Oh, keep committing, Wraith King! Just keep punching! Oh, one more just hit. Just barely out. 22 health. And he should have just punched him there. He got scared, thinking that CM should be around. And uh, top lane, Viper is going to find a double kill as well. Over on Lion and Sven. Gets his vengeance for, you know, feeding first blood. Man, the Wraith King needed balls there. Just be brave. And now, trying to go again, but this time Crystal Maiden is there. And uh, they're going to try and get both, but Keeper of Light should be able to run out of this one. Lion rotating bot. More rotates than we saw in the entirety of the first game. Oh, Windrunner goes down to the Wisp on mid lane. Wow. Dumpster, he says. <laughs> uh, Summers, while he may be Twitch chat's favorite for the Mango, he's not having fun against this. It was actually a double damage on Wisp. To be fair, that's fucking hard to see. It's like impossible to see that he's double damaged yeah. unless you focus on him. Um, so, alright. Wisp surprises him, catches him off guard, I'm sure. Looks like Sven is solo laning now, after Lion left, no one's rotating top. Yeah, seems like it, and he's just leeching experience, can't really get more. Bottom lane now, trying to go on Brewmaster. Oh, he's so close, he Will should be dead. Will they get the kill? Yep. Yeah. That's the second kill of uh, Team 1K. They got the first blood and died with five heroes, but now they do get an important pick off on Brewmaster. And that's before he got level 6 as well. Meanwhile, Krista Maiden, she's just farming jungle a lot, so it is a pretty vulnerable lane on bottom. The fact that they don't really have a support with the uh, Brewmaster. And Sven. Sven hasn't been able to get a single CS. He's against a Viper, and now he gets relocated upon with a haste rune on Wisp as well. Oh. Meanwhile. Not looking good. Yeah, bottom as well. They're being aggressive here. 1k trying to go under a tower. And uh, Brewmaster is turning it around, starting to chase. Uh, Wraith King could probably have stunned that before uh, before he gets brought down by the Brewmaster, but that's going to be his level 6 on the next creep wave. So two more kills going the way of uh, of uh, the solo mid, I think. Yeah, exactly. Oh, Viper was the one to get it. First time Windrunner. Well, might as well... You know, learn it the hard way, just first time win on her, better play it against a 6k MMR player. 150 first time Wisp. Oh god, they actually <laughs> locked out on the randoming then. Yeah. He's actually a Wisp player, alright. Lich just barely escaping top. Yeah, I see that, he's trying Might to get away. Some the stun is coming off cooldown here. Click. Are they gonna bring him down? The right clicks! Oh, they got him. And this seems to be some uh, Midas rush, or...? Maybe Treads or Armlet Rush, who knows, from uh, Ali Yuk. Just going for the gloves first. Now he has his boots. I think it's a good choice by them to go aggressive on top lane, because bottom lane, I don't think they should be trying to kill uh, Brewmaster anymore. Now that he yeah. has the uh, mana boots, as well as level 6, and they have a Crystal Maiden in his team, he's always going to have mana for his ulti, no matter if you have the mana leak or not. So uh, it's going to be tough. Winner did find a double damage rune. Gets some solo time as well on mid lane to uh, farm up as Wisp is running. And oh wow. Wisp taking out Wraith King by the top rune. I missed that relocate coming in. <laughs> Actually brings back Lich to base as well. And then TP's in to mid. Oh bottom lane they're starting to go. Crystal Mane trying to be aggressive, but the Mango and Turnaround by Lion. But Lion mana leaking. 
just a little bit too much for yep. mana draining. I'm trying to stick around for the uh, mana drain, but it's not really that strong on level one, so you should just uh, should just run easy kill. Does that feel when you're the easy kill? <laughs> and uh, it seems like armlet is gonna be the build of choice here from uh, Soul Mid Wisp as he picks up the helm of Dom oh, or um, the helm of Iron Will. Trying to set up mid here. Lich is level 5. He has one nuke. They will tether in. No mana for Windrunner. Maybe if he mangles, he can shackle. Mango shackle. Mango. <laughs> oh, rip mango. all about his mango. Yeah. Forget that mango. A barrel of kex. Man. I mean, I suppose he wanted to keep, you know, the passive region of the mango. Always value. Top, under top solo kill happening again. Wisp relocating in behind here, trying to get the bonus kill as well. Wraith King taking the kill bot on the CM. Mm -hmm. Morty, killing spree. And then he has to fight against the Lich, I think. Well, Lich gets pulled out as well. Wisp will bring him to the mid lane. Uh, Dyer's top tower is under attack. Lich ulti comes in. No lucky bounces though, not a single oh, one. Going towards the Windrunner. Go gets the power shot and ultis. But the aggro switch is there. Oh, the hasted Wraith King comes in. Oh, Storm Treads, my boy. Storm Treads trying to do it. It wouldn't have mattered. Oh, it would have. He was oh. Okay, whatever. He got him. Illuminate doing just enough damage. Yep, that was very close. They brought down the Wisp though. The solo mid died. That's 750 gold towards Coddle. One kill. It's like the Bounty Hunter we saw in last game where he got 800 gold for one kill. Yep. Oh, bottom lane. Crystal Maiden just Another killing kill off. Down bot. Killing off Lion. It's just a massacre all over the lanes right now. So yeah. last game I believe it took uh, Team 1K about 20 minutes to rack up 5 kills. And this game they managed to do it in 9. So slight improvement coming out. That is true. That is true. However, they're also falling behind in gold even faster than in the previous game. That is uh, true as well. Because the game is heating up more quickly <laughs> here. Mid, we see aggression again. Sven, gonna try and stun up, but Wisp is here, CM is here. Well, you're not gonna be able to kill a Viper when Wisp is there. Lion does not have ulti yet. So you can't really bring all these low HP heroes down. It's just the massacre again, then the urn charges. So many urn charges on the on the wisp. I think we head over to net worth in this game because it's not really about farming. The CS value is pretty low on either side. Man, I can't wait for when the wisp finishes up his armlet. I wanna wanna see. I don't think he's gonna be backing. Yep. It's a quite dangerous game to play as well against stuff like, um, you know, a lot of stunts and against a lion when he has ulti. But I'm sure he will do it. Bottom, relocate comes in. Relocate. Oh. He has tether. Tether up on the brewmaster. And just kill. Meanwhile, CM has an invis rune and she's running along, showing the people coming in. <gasps> oh, the wisp! Relocate Wait. going out. The He's got die though. Is going he oh, he heals. Nope. They're in charge. Hmm, the attacks are coming in, that's why he has to heal before them. But uh, the tower attack is going to be fine as well. Alright, we're still Maiden using her invisibility to full effect. Yeah. Probably going to secure both these kills. Oh, can I get more slow on him? Nice shackle coming in from Windrunner. Gonna start running. She doesn't have boots, so she doesn't run very quickly. She gets slowed down. Right click from Lich is actually enough to kill her. He has nuke, but he decides to go for a right click finish. And uh, Kappa. There's a lot of heroes that don't have boots. We may have a rage quit on Lion. Not positive if it's an uh, issue or if it's a you know, different kind of issue. Oh, oh he's back. Morty, look who came back. I guess their little disconnection was just a minor inconvenience. <laughs> My announcer pack helps me cast this game. Very nice. Thank you. <laughs> you know, uh, Rick and Morty is the best casting casting tool. 
You don't need to cast yourself. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, Brewmaster getting stunned out of his ult. More stuns coming through, but not yeah. going to matter at all. The Wisp heal, though. He's and it's just, you know, a slaughter and fest. And to find two kills off of that. Three kills, possibly four. No ulti on Wraith King as well. They're gonna chase him down. He is. He is down. Sven knows, though. He's on top lane. He realized he had enough of this. Let's just farm up on a safe lane. But then comes Wisp with the relocate. And you're gonna go down. Sadly, Wisp is very tanky now with his armlet. A lot of people are starting to get worried and say, you know, that this is this is unfair and stuff. But um, it it was, to be fair, the one case who instigated this. So it's kind of brought upon themselves. I'm sure they are kind of into this. CM going aggressive on the Wraith King bottom. Could actually get brought down here. And he does, does feed. Get brought down. Yeah, that's a solo kill for Wraith King and some gold going to Lion as well. Lion getting brought down by the Wisp here, so much damage. Double damage rune again. You know. Starting to get scary when you see the little blue flickering and then the armlet as well. This Wisp means, means business. Uh, Dagon build on Viper. Standard build. And uh, will we see a Dagon finish? Yep. And yep. Glorious. That's Rod of Atos on Lich as well. There's no accident anymore. That's this is an ridiculous. accident now. Uh, Dire's top tower is under attack. All right. So we still have Wraith King, who is ahead of the uh, Crystal Maiden in net worth. Dai is the last person to be overtaken, though, by Crystal Maiden, and she is the least farmed on the 5K team. We're so just hitting that point again at 14 minutes in. Wisp decides to go on the uh, Caudal instead. Uh, as Lion gets brought down by Brutemaster. Wisp really not backing out here. He can keep going. He does not get the armor toggle on though. The ulti, you need to ulti him faster. Oh, he's still dead. Nope, not quite quick enough. Caudal is Luminate coming out. Still not enough, and Caudal's just gonna fall for that as well. I like how Caudal tries to pass by. He's like, I'm, I'm friendly. Yeah. <laughs> just let me run by, guys. I'll just walk this way, please. No. It's like watching a survival game, you know, where people are like, "I'm friendly. Don't, don't, don't kill me. I have yeah. nothing." Sadly, in Dota, no such thing as friends. Just dead. Brewmaster again diving in here, going for the Sven this time. Wraith King is still the last hope here on the net worth, just barely ahead of the Crystal Maiden. Oh, Relocate coming in. They have really good wards seeing everything right now. Lich ulti comes in. They do a nice split, leaving Wraith King alone. Oh, he has ulti coming off on one second cooldown. Oh, boy. But he died. Okay. That is just the saddest Wraith King ulti cooldown of today. Of all games. Very sad. Coming out from Earth Spirit. Gonna be able to right click him down, it looks like. Oh, Sven's gonna make it out. Yeah, Brewmaster is going to be... Oh, his Blink Dagger is disabled, but he might get it off Shackle. But Wisp Heal is there. Yep. He's Wisp not is dying. Too strong. Yeah. Oh, man. They do just... They just don't stop. Look at the damage from Wisp. Oh he got the spirits on everyone there. And he Wisp probably... may finally fall here. Arm the toggle, nope. though. Arm the toggle through. He keeps Toggling standing right next to the Wraith King. Holy shit. Kills the Lion in base. With the Ultra Kill, can he get the Rampage? No, no such luck. Sadly, he does go down, and that's Wraith King pulling ahead of CM again in the net worth. <laughs> <laughs> I did it, he says. Making 1500 gold for killing a Wraith King, or killing a Wisp. So he's solidly between the Lich and the CM right now. He's leading the charge, trying to build his own armlet, you know. They still haven't lost their tier 3. But they also do not have boots on Windrunner, no boots on Sven. And in general, just poverty all around. Lion has become a mango merchant. 
So he's gonna run around with those. Viper completed his level 3 Dagon. Beautiful. We also have a Crystalis on uh, Brewmaster to crit even more. The ward scouts out Sven as he tries to leave base, trying to find any farm at all. But he, uh, he won't be so lucky. Kills, they have to, you know, more and and more people getting caught out as well as Lion gets brought down. Can you smell it? The smell of freshly slaughtered bodies. Mask of Madness now on IO. Oh, yeah, that is the uh, popular solo mid wisp builds. Armlet and uh, Mask of Madness. Typically a crit after that. Very nice build. Dyer's middle tower just took a big beating. She's gone. All right. I think this is uh, this is the point where they will start for Phantom farming as again as well. Just making their way in. They need to focus down the Wisp. Every single stun needs to go towards Wisp. <laughs> They need the uh, lion back alive. Lion's still not level six in this game. My God, he has died 14 times. Trying to go on a viper. To say, lion may not ever be level six. Yeah, he needed to be alive for that kill. Yep, he he did actually. If he was there, he would have had level six now. I think. Stones coming out on the pandas, just trying to get them out of the fountain. Meanwhile, Rax going down to Crystal Maiden and Lich. Classic pushing combo. Some nukes coming in. They do scout out the uh, Wisp in the tree line here. And everyone starts running towards him, seeing his low HP. Oh, will they get the stun? They missed the shackle. And his armlet is on. If they would have focused on Wisp, that definitely could have gone a lot better than focusing on the Brewmaster jumping. They got pretty disjointed there though, to be honest, when he blinks in and yeah. thunderclaps them. It's hard to keep going on the same target. And Lion manages to hit his level 6, but it's still not enough to take down the Wisp. Yep. Well, well follow up from Coddle is, but... He does go down in the end. They're all dead. They got three kills at the same time. Only Viper and Brewmaster still standing, but they're still fountain diving though. There we go. Brewmaster goes oh. in big. Definitely worth. And uh, the final one to fall. There we go. Print screen that. Team 1K killing the entire Team 5K. <laughs> team 5K just overestimating themselves. This could be a real throw. Yeah, uh, they would have to die a lot of times to throw away 25,000 <laughs> advantage though. But uh, definitely having their bit of fun here with the fountain dives. And uh, not a single hero being tanky on their side as well. Dagon Brewmaster, or Dagon Viper, Daedalus Brewmaster. Coddle almost has his, he, do he does have a full Agonims. I must admit that that's a bigger item than I expected any one of them to finish in this game. And uh, oh, Wraith, yes. Wraith King is also looking quite farmed at this point. You know, he has Armlet, 1500 gold, power trips. CM finds Coddle here, gonna get a kill on him, Wisp. Kind of just drive by last hits there. And we do see boots now on uh, on the entire side of Team 1K. Face boots up on Winrunner. Oh, Sven gets caught out by a Brewmaster. Meanwhile, mid. I mean, they're trying to go on Lich, but then you look at the items on Lich. He has a Reaver, a Vit Booster, and a Toss. He actually is the tankiest on their team. Wraith King respawning, but not exactly doing much. Yeah, that's not where you want to respawn. In the middle of nothing. Nothing friendly, at least. The comeback is real. Yeah, at 52 kills versus 13, 21 minutes in. I believe that they are going to end this game. But... Not before some fountain farming is done. <laughs> nice blinding lights. Worse, Brewmaster ulti. The Dagon comes in. They're committing for his Caudal. They're bringing him down. And uh, Brewmaster loses his Earth aspect, but he has the Storm alive. A little bit disappointed in the Crystal Man. She should have bought a Gold Scepter and just ran in there. Yeah, full value Gold ulti. Scepter. The creep waves are actually pushing out for Team 1K, so they're not even being racks or anything right now. They're just kind of dying in base, though. 
three, three and a half ish hits to take down this Sven. Yeah, even the armlet Wraith King doesn't really take too long when you have these items. I mean, Brewmaster is working on his second Daedalus, so he already has three different sources of crit. Very soon his chance to crit will be higher than his chance not to crit if he completes the um, Daedalus, I think. It's pretty nice. Middle towers under attack. <laughs> 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 Good guy, Nipsu. Not gonna lie to him. Yeah. I mean, the thing about Wisp mid is that it can be good if you're extremely proficient with the hero, but yeah, it's just one of those things, you know. It's never gonna be good in lower MMR because people can't pull off the plays in the same way. Because I've I've had my ass beaten by uh, by Guardian Wisp, for example, pretty known solo mid Wisp spammer. When I played, I don't even know what I played. It was a pretty strong laning hero, like Queen of Pain or something. And uh, yeah, he's just very good at the hero. It's difficult to outlane him, and then oh, at level six, he killed my teammates. <laughs> and we see the dives never stopping here. The Rod of Atos coming in to play as well, Just keep chasing. I embrace my death. It seems that 1K, Team 1K has come to terms quite much with, uh, you know, Team 5K kind of being uh, on a different level. Mm. Team 1K has realized that they aren't exactly what they thought they were. <laughs> well, you can't blame them though. They uh, they put on a, a good show. They tried. Yep. Definitely some good entertainment. <laughs> yep. I mean, if I had if I had some pizza and, and stuff, I would definitely watch this and then enjoy it. But here I am, starving instead, and casting this. <laughs> I'm not salty. Possibly oh, taking down wisp. the wisp again. Wisp. Oh, there we go. And Lion's Alt comes through to finish it off. Yeah, big finger. Bringing him down. Instant buyback, and Wisp teleports into the enemy fountain. Or nearby. Realizing the priorities. And he brings back his Lich as well. I don't even think that Lich wanted to get brought back, but it happened. Shout out to UK Dota. I do believe they have multiple uh, UK players in the Radiant team. I'm glad to see that, you know, Team 1K at least, they're not completely behind in uh, gold on every single player in this game. See? Like, Crystal Maiden is still not overtaking Wraith King and Caudal. There's, there's still some pride. Though very little. Uh, GG comes out. Alright, so 2-0. Team 5k takes it. This game with a fully random lineup. And uh, without banning a single hero throughout the entire picking stage. And in the previous game, playing 5v4 for the first 10 minutes of the game as well. I think at this point it's safe to say they would probably win even if the enemy team picked their heroes for them. <laughs> probably. Oh, they're going for the comeback, though. <laughs> it just never, never ends. Boy, they may have said GG, but they did not mean it. I mean, they fell for the classic. It's what we uh, we like to call the Russian GG, the fake GG. Whatever you want to call it. It goes by many, many names. And uh, suddenly, Boots of Travel Kodal is pushing your top lane. The comeback attempts. Pretty long death times on Radiant here, so they have some time yeah. to do something. It's a lot of pings on the uh, smoke, I believe. Wisp wants his team to smoke. Yep, Lich has it. Oh, using they're... all the smoke now. They are trying to bring down the Brewmaster, but they don't have enough disables. They get the Crystal Maiden though, and he just barely blinks away. Gets himself stuck in the tree line. If they can find that, oh, my managed to catch him out. Yep. The rest of his team is already left. Have a look at the gold graph here. What's the 25k uh, advantage and now at a 15k? Well, they actually bring down the Brewmaster as well. And uh, he eats a mango in celebration. Not sure why, since he has mana drain, but <laughs> he, uh, he just likes mangoes. And uh, trying to bring down Gage here, but he gets out. 
Nice and safe with the TP. <laughs> Crystal Maiden slowly going down to last spot on uh, net worth. That's true. Fire starts to pull ahead. And uh, I'm not sure about this ring. Could be uh, could be a Vanguard we see from Wraith King, but could also be a refresher build coming up here. Uh, hoping for the latter, but you know it's it's quite a way off in terms of gold. He has some decent DPS now, though, with the armlet and desolator. He honestly hurts if he gets close to someone. The downside is that, you know, there are multiple heroes with Reaver or Heart or something like that. Oh, they're straight up just going to go thrown. They're running in. Brewmaster is not here, so this is a solid attempt to throw the game again. We'll see if Team uh, 1K can capitalize. Beautiful stun. Hex to follow up. Just defending at this point. Wraith King has his ulti. It's going to pop, though. Oh, can they bring down anyone? They need to focus. Wisp! Nothing else matters, team. Nothing Not else matters. Not focusing anything, and Lich's ult just bounces to clean up, too. Most of the spells going on to a Viper. Here's the Wraith King, though. He goes on the Wisp, but it's Wisp a little bit too close late. close to death, and he does manage to die. CM ulti dealing tons of damage. Sven, though! He starts running back again. He can't oh. really do much. No buybacks available. Wraith King is dead. Throne is starting to fall. Is this the end? Three dead. Right clicks onto the Ancient. Certainly not looking good for Team Odk. Cliff comes in. They're trying. But only two people alive. And the Brewmaster ulti keeps him alive as well. That's going to be it. Throne is going to fall. Good game. Can you show the CS, please? Uh, we'll see the uh, last hits now at the end of the game. GG, well played. Thanks for playing. Thanks for humiliation, Reddit. It was a fun time, says Martinek. <laughs> All right. So, uh, yeah, we have uh, in total one deny on the side of Dire, Team 1K. <laughs> More believe. than I thought there would be. Yeah, um, I mean... Cred to uh, Gage TX for having the idea to deny a creep at one point in this game. <laughs> um, but honestly, though, this was not really a laning game. It was more about the kills as it was 67 to 23 in 28 minutes. Um, not really much time to farm up for anyone. But sadly, sadly, they couldn't win the fights either as 1K gets taken down. Two wins for Team 5K. That's going to be it, boys. Best of three is concluded. All right, <laughs> I'm gonna go and get some food, and after that, I'm gonna do sub game, guys. So I'll see you uh, soon. I'll leave the stream on, but I'll be back in like five minutes. And uh, once again, dude, Kalem, thank you for uh, for joining me on this. I don't you think my voice me. would make it if I talked.